So Paul, energy is a pretty fundamental thing in astronomy and space, and it's something that we're going to come across a lot in this course. Stars, space, planets, pretty much everything. So what is it? Nuclear physics and Nuclear many other topics. Physics. <laughs> so this, this video is one that we'll be showing several times in different places because it's a fundamental basis. If you've seen this video before, feel free to skip onwards. Uh, now, of course, there are many different forms of energy. There is the chemical energy that's keeping us talking here, moving our mouths up and down. There's the electrical energy that's powering the lights and the camera and the screen here. One form of energy that we're going to talk about in this video is potential energy. Now, potential energy depends on where you are, your location. And it can come from any force of nature. So there can be gravitational potential energy, which depends on the gravitational force. There can also be electrostatic energy, depending on the electric force. And they all depend on your location. So it doesn't matter what the energy is, it just matters where your location is. That's right. Now, I think the best way to explain this is by analogy with something like a roller coaster on mm. Earth. Now, if you're at the Earth's surface, the potential energy that matters is gravitational potential energy. That's right, it's pulling us down. And that depends on your height. So the gravitational potential energy is high when you're high and low when you're low. Yep. So let's look at something going on a roller coaster. So we'll see, here we go. So low potential energy when they get there. And what you can see is when they're at the bottom of their arc, they're going quickly, and as they get to the top, they slow down. And that's something we can explain using this concept of potential energy. Right. So here is my highly sophisticated <laughs> roller coaster simulator. And here we're going to let our object go. And you see it's moving very slowly here. Then it speeds up as it goes down. It's going quite fast at the bottom. Slows back down almost, but not quite to a stop. And Just made it goes. over the top and keeps going again. So let's think how we'd explain right. the sort of motion in terms of potential energy. So. We have a total energy level, and that's got to be a little bit more than the potential energy just at the top here. Why? Because it's moving very slightly. Ah, so if it was standing still, it would essentially be all potential energy. That's right. So if this dotted line here was right here, then that meant when it was here, all its energy would be potential. There'd yep. be nothing left to move. Because as if energy's up here, you get this much, most of its potential, but there's a little bit left over, and a little bit left over is going to be kinetic energy, which is energy of motion. And so that energy of motion is what gets you started. That's right, that's what keeps it moving. Yep. And as it slides down, now the potential energy is less because you're lower down, because it depends only on how high you are. But our kinetic energy. And that means is there's more, your total energy remains the same, because it always remains the same, law of conservation of that's energy. Right. And so you've now got more kinetic energy, so you're going faster. And the bottom, there's Super only, a small, <laughs> only a small bit of potential energy, lots of kinetic energy. So that means you're going pretty fast. Uh, but now what would happen if we started only here? So now uh, if you started at rest there, let's say I just took this ball and let go. Yep. Where's the energy level going to be? Well, it's going to have to be, well, if we have nothing else, then it's going to have to be here, right? That's right. There's no kinetic energy because you're letting it go at stationary, so energy level is going to be there. So what's it going to do? Yeah, so this is going to be interesting because... If we, can't, if we can't get more than our total energy, we're going to run out of energy right here. Well, let's see. So we reckon it's going to go back to the same level there? Probably pretty close. My simulation has no friction <laughs> in it, so... It's a perfect universe. And we fell down. Yes, so you're going to oscillate backwards and forwards forever. Now, of course, in the real world, there's friction, and that means that some of the energy is actually going to end up heating up the oil in the right. hinges, the wind air. resistance, That's right. um, rubbing on things. And so in fact, it would probably use steadily less of that. Of course, you could also have an electric motor on your uh, cart. So it comes up here and then you switch the motor on. So in that case, you're drawing electricity from somewhere else. So new energy is coming, energy level is rising to get you over the threshold. But that means your new total energy would be higher because yes. you have to add that and now you make it. That's right. Now on Earth, there's always friction. But when we're talking about either subatomic particles or we're talking about space, mm. not much friction. That's right. So in fact, this calculation here, which is pretty arbitrary, um, seems rather bizarre, actually works. I mean, here, here's, here's the calculation what we had here. So there's the energy level. To begin with, you've got um, you're swapping potential energy for kinetic energy. But you can only ever get back to here. But you can never get over here because in principle, you've got enough energy if someone built a tunnel through there, you could get from this side to that side, but you just can't get over that lip in the middle. So it doesn't matter, no matter what you do, if you don't 
have enough energy or don't get more energy from another source, you're never going to get into it, and as he said, stuck in there forever. So generally the rule is you enjoy energy cargo and it can be everywhere where that's higher than the potential energy curve. Yep. But if there's a lip, you might not be able to get to some regions like this. And as you said, this is an important thing, maybe less on Earth, but for lots of other cases in the universe. That's right. So we've talked about that. Um, other forms of energy, of course, are important here. If you want to stop at the bottom, you need to convert excess energy into some other forms. You might have brake pads, and that will generally convert into a squealing noise and heat. So you're not, the energy isn't just going nowhere, it's just going into a different form. That's right. And again, most roller coasters will have to have some sort of mechanical system to get you up to the launch That's pad right. in the first place. And the brakes to stop you, otherwise you're on the ride forever. Yes, but nonetheless, um, normally in, in space or in subatomic particles, it's the potential energy and the kinetic energy, the only ones that sometimes they get converted into other forms, yep. but often it's interplay between the two, as we'll see in many places in this course.